Hey guys, today we are going to talk to you about this book, which I have mixed feelings about. I'm really, I'm really conflicted about this book. So this is the complete Cosmo Comics. Um, it is a fictional book, um, but the physics in here is like really, really solid physics. So it's not kind of like, you know, made up physics where, oh, I wonder if we do this. This is like, this is solid, good physics. All the physics in here has a really, really good grounding. Um, and the reason I'm conflicted about this book is because it makes my head hurt. And it's good to read books that make your head hurt because it's good to be, it's really good to be thinking. My head hurting because I'm having to think so hard about what I'm reading. And so it's all based around this one character whose name is Kwufka? Kwuf, 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 Kwuf. I don't know how you pronounce it, is a completely unpronounceable name. Um, but I think that's part of the point, you're not supposed to be able to pronounce it. And we take this character, like, right from the beginning, so, he, like, I would say he um, was there right at, like, just after the Big Bang. And then follows, like, the universe through uh, the creation of galaxies and everything that goes on. And the reason I say, I, I, say, I can't say whether I love this book or whether I hate this book, because it, just, it really just makes my head hurt. Obviously, there was no person there. We cannot have a short story from the time of the Big Bang. But this is what the book gives us. And it gives us a short story, um written as if a person was there but obviously people weren't there and then like this person this character is subjected to all the laws of physics that are going on at the time and so kind of like all the forces of gravity how time was moving and we get to see all of the the changes to the universe that have happened over the the millennia and there were just loads and loads of short short stories they're all like really short little chapters I don't know the math and so maybe like you know five six pages in a chapter so I normally read like two or three chapters before going to bed and it's it's hard hard going but um this is like essential reading if you're thinking about going to do physics at university um one of my friends gave this to me um, because he said it was, like, he gave me a few books, this is one of his favourite, um, physics books ever. And I get why he likes it, because I said the physics in there is really, really solid, it's really, really good. I can follow the physics through, I can follow the logic through, but I have to think about it. And then I have to try and get my head around how it relates to the, the this character who, who, who couldn't have been there, but is there, and then it's... The book is going to mess with your head, but if you want to do physics at university, you should definitely read it. There we go, that's basically all I have to say about the book. It's a very, very good book. At least I think I like it. Again, I'm so confused. I have to keep, like, taking breaks in between reading it, because it does, it literally just makes my head hurt, and then I get frustrated, and I'm not reading the back of it, and then I go back and I pick it up, and I read a couple more chapters, and I'm kind of like, this is really, really good. So, anyway... It's hard work, but good if you want to go and do physics at university.